Hey love? Yes? We are not a million dollar movie production. No, but it's intimating and everything. But no, it's... We are a sailing channel. Okay, well, what about this then? Back in the boat. Finally, mid-October is when Norma is going to come out of the water. That means all through autumn and spring, we have a lot of work to do on board, which means we need to work on a long to-do list. So first up on our to-do list for autumn is to get Norma up, empty her, put winter engine oil, off rigging, fix oil dripping, fix major leaks, secure the transducer, check electronics, fix the charger, fix speed indicator and spray sand down the hall. In the spring, we need to sand and paint the hall again, put a new water line, polish up the hall and deck with a little waxing as well, uh, sand outdoor wood and varnish it, tighten the rotor stick, change the sink blocks, upgrade navigation lights and anchor options, seal all leaks, change the port lights and install a new cabin battery. Apart from all these things, we have a few extras which we'll probably go on to add a little later. Right now, we need to install a, coo a cooler, um, a refrigerating system and uh, make a sailing checklist. So next time we go out sailing, we know what we need to do, what we don't need to do and all that. Earlier this season, we put two yellow steering lines just to ease in and out of our slip. So this line here is hooked to the front of the boat to help us steer in and out our first slip very easily. So there are two steering lines. The yellow one is put by us and the blue one is provided by the harbour. But our neighbour likes to use the yellow one but not the one that's given to him by the harbour. I've been talking to our neighbour three times to please remove it and every time he says yes I will remove it. Every time we come back here it's there again. Get off my lawn. Our next job is to take our head sails down and it's just the first time for everything so it takes a bit of fiddling around but I finally nailed it. After a little fiddling around it turned out that this screw and the screw I just lost uh, is going loose. You take this out and the sail can be clicked out from here. So that's the first thing to do. So naked, huh? <laughs> That's just a lazy jack, and we're done. Luckily, we have uh, the wind coming against us, which made it possible for us to pull up our front sail, uh, which is a rolling Gino well. So we need to roll it out fully to get the front fall to get loose. So since we got the front sail down. I discovered the old owner likes to make knots that big and uh, it's a good 20 minutes to try to unwrangle this stuff but uh, 
I reckon in another half an hour's time we should be finished putting the both sails down in the V-berth and uh, be more or less ready to come out of the water. <laughs>